All right, what is up, guys? Low Down Dirty Gamer here, bringing you another episode of The Witcher. Um, in the last episode, we had talked to Abigail, and we had uh, put Alvin, the the boy that we rescued from the Bargus uh, when we first got here, uh, we put him in a trance, and he told us that the beast was created through. Uh, human malice. Basically, some of the villagers here raped a little girl. And through that act of uh, malice, uh, the beast was created. So we have to take this uh, information back to the Reverend. We also got a quest from a merchant. Uh, this guy, Luvarden. Uh, he was in the inn. And he said his friend went missing in a cave underneath the city walls. And so we're going to see if we can't find him, too. But the first thing that I want to do is my toxicity right here is pretty high. 67 out of 100. So I'm going to rest here at Abigail's and see if I can't get my toxicity back down before we continue on. I'm tired of seeing spots. What do you want? Oh, I just want to sleep here, baby. I, you know, people are just like, oh yeah, you can sleep here, no problem. Now, we don't mind. Alright, let's see here. I got three talents to distribute, too, so... Um... You know, I'm pretty sure that I want to get these fist-fighting ones now. Yeah. i do both of these so I can start doing the boxing minigame. And then there's another one. I think it was this one. Poison resistance plus 50. I haven't come across anything that poisons me yet. But once I do, I'm definitely going to want that. Well, let's see what else we got going on here. The intelligence tree, like herbalism and monster lore. These are both very important perks. Knowledge of the cleansing ritual. Enables performance of the cleansing ritual in places of power. I don't know what that is, but that's silver anyway. Yeah, see, it looks like there's a bunch of good stuff in uh, the intelligence tree here. However, we don't have silver talents yet, so for bronze... I don't feel like I really need any of this right now. What about Igni? Attack from a distance. Right click and hold to power up the sign. Okay, so... When we cast this normally, it kind of just sends out like a burst of fire in front of us. So I'm wondering if this will... Um, do more like a fireball and like throw like a ball of fire at somebody farther away. That's that's what I get from that explanation right there anyway. Um damage plus ten percent would be nice. Uh angle 135 degrees, that's kind of an odd amount. 45 degrees. Why wouldn't it just go to 90 from 45? It goes all the way up to 135. That's weird. Chance of incinerating opponents. Hmm. Do I want to just get, like, the straight damage boost? Let me look at my sword styles real quick. I don't feel like I really need bleeding. That's only when my vitality is low. Little vitality. Precise hit. I don't know what that means. Fighting at least three opponents, he'll knock them down. That's pretty good. How high can get can that get? Just forty? Or are we not able to see what's part of these? Is that how it is? Huh, I guess we just can't see what other 
abilities you get, unless it's just like straight upgrades on your stats at that point. I don't know, we'll find out when we get there. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I think I'm going to just take the straight damage boost on my Igni. And we're going to call it a day there. Let's check and see if I have any potions I can make. Uh, Frightener's Vision grants a bronze talent. I'm definitely going to want that. And then, what do I have? White Gall, Swallow, I have two of them. Tony Oil, I have one. Oh, let's make another Swallow Potion. Oh. Okay, it looks like that's going to be all the potions we make. Uh, and we're going to meditate... We're going to meditate till dusk, because I still want to see if I can meet that girl that we saved, uh, or that we escorted across town. I think she's dead. But she did say meet her after dusk, so I'm going to meditate till dusk, and then by the time we walk over there, it should be like just after dusk. And I think that will work out nicely. And we'll kill some drowners too. <laughs> And, oh yeah, I completely got rid of my toxicity, so that's good. Not seeing spots anymore. And we did everything else we needed to do with Abigail last time we were in here. Now it's just, um, yeah, I want to go up and cut across this way instead of going around this way, because I feel like it's a little bit faster. It's probably realistically about the same distance, but I feel like it's a little bit faster going this way. It might just be me. Uh, let's grab some herbs on the trip. So we are still kind of waiting for nightfall, because I want to fight uh, more of these drowners, because they drop a bunch of ingredients that we can use for our potions. A lot of Keladine around here. Oh, I can really crap. use... I'm wasting time. Oh, jeez, that guy scared me. <laughs> I thought he was uh, a Bargist. This sounded like when the regular dogs die and uh, start turning themselves into the hellhound. It was just him coughing and then talking. Freaked me out though. Ooh, barba uh, barbacane. What does this give us? Aether and albedo. So that's good. I think we have enough celadine right now. Yeah, we're going down. Can I cross on that side of the bridge? I don't think I can. No, I sure can't. So that means I gotta go all the way around to get to the mill. Uh, right over there. Pretty sure that girl's dead. But I wanna check, just in case. I mean, we did put in the work to escort her safely, and then she died after the quest was over. But I'm pretty sure that characters stay dead in this game. We haven't really come across anything where we've had to test it, so we're going to consider this the test. If she's not there uh, after dusk, then we're going to say that she's dead. So we're going to check right now, because it's like right at dusk, and then I might check one more time. What are you guys doing? Nothing, I guess. Um, we might check a couple hours after dusk, just to know once and for all. But I kind of think if she's not there right now, then she's just not going to be there. But we'll see. I'm assuming that if she was there waiting for us, that that would be unlocked. So 
So I don't know, we might check one more time, or we might just say that's that and she's dead. I kind of get the feeling like, I mean, because she did die, we saw her body, I think we even looted her body. Uh, so she's probably staying dead, which is unfortunate, because we had escorted her all the way across town, kept her safe, and then got jumped by like 10 Barghists right at the end, like after the quest was finished. Alright, uh, we're going in here looking for that guy's friend. We should probably drink a Swallow Potion. And, I don't know, I don't know what's going to be in here, I think I'll be good with that. If not, see if we can't regroup Whatever and lives in that drink more potions. I wonder how dark it is in here. That doesn't look too dark. Whoa, what was that noise? Hello? Looking for a lost adventurer. You are not him. Uh, I think it was fast style we wanted for these. And Igni. Boom. I can't really tell how much damage that Igni spell did to it. I would think it would do a lot because they're plants. Oh, let's see, I can see now. Ah, uh, there's a fair chunk. It's not like a huge amount of damage, but it is only level 1 Igni. So it did take a pretty decent chunk out of him. Search this guy. What does he carry? Aether. Whoa, another one. At least we're not drunk this time. That really made it a little bit harder to aim when we were drunk and seeing three of everything. And it seems like we're only fighting one at a time, which helps. Because having two of them shoot at me at once, I think, was causing me some problems. Is that him that I searched and it was just weird the way that he did it? Take the sword back out. There's weird plant things in here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That works as a nice combo finisher. Damn, yeah, just like that. It does take out a pretty decent chunk on them. It's not bad at all. Okay, it seems like we're just fighting one on one here. So that's pretty good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take the sword out. I heard something. Whoa, it's right there. Oh no, another one. Oh, we gotta hurry up and get this guy. I don't want to be dealing with multiple plant things. And fire. And then hit him again. That seems to be a nice little combo I got going there. Just do a full set with the sword. Come on, I need you to dodge. Dodge again. Now, he doesn't like to dodge as easily as you would think he does. I mean, I'm clearly double tapping the button. And he kind of stutter steps. Oh, I'm... Was I out of magic? Die. Oh, death by magic. There we go. Okay. Oh, what is this? Quest item. Oh... This is probably the guy we're looking for. Well, yeah, I need to bury Luvardin's companion. I should talk to the merchant again. Yeah, poor guy. He became plant food. Take your sword back out. Because I hear plants. There's one right there, and I can't see. Oh, I wish I had the cat potion. Ah, oh, get lit up. Ok, 
Okay, he's dead. Anybody else? Oh, I hear somebody. I hear them. There they are. Final attack and fire. Yeah, that seems to work pretty well. I don't know how well it will do for other things, but against these plants, it seems to be a nice little one-two punch on them. Anybody else? No? Okay. I'm hearing weird noises, though. Whoa, what was that? Just kind of slid over him. Can I take my sword back out? Because I still don't think it's safe in here. There's probably more things. I can't see. Can I go this way? No, I think that's a wall. Where? Oh, there you are. No, nobody else jumped out for that. Okay. Put, take your sword back out. Okay, I can't search him. I couldn't search this one. And I don't know if I searched this one or not. I don't see anything. Okay. Anything, and... We are back at the beginning. So I think that's it. I think we killed all the plants, and we found that guy's remains, which we need to bury, it said. Whoa. I keep hearing weird noises. I think we're done with this place, though. Okay, now it's a little bit darker. Barbicane, thank you. Hellebore, thank you. More Barbicane. At least we're loading up on supplies here. Keladine, why not? I don't have 11 of those. I could always use more. So who knows what I really need them for. It's not like I've memorized my potions ingredients. Alright, I'm going to check the mill one more time because we're right here. And if she's not here this time, then we're calling it dead for sure. Locked. Yeah, see? So, if characters die, then they stay dead. There's no coming back. So, we will have to be careful. Hopefully no, like, main story characters become in danger of dying like that and breaking the game. I don't think that they would. Like, this game's not that old. Like, really old games back in the 90s, stuff like that was possible. Oh, come here, buddy. Alright, we need to talk to the Reverend about... Uh, oh, what is that? Death Dust. It gives us Rebus. I wonder if we're able to get that now because uh, we took that Monster Lore ability because they weren't dropping that before. And I killed a bunch of them. And not a single one of them had dropped that. I bet you that's because of the monster lore thing. Alright, it's nighttime, so... Reverend is probably inside. So we're gonna go in there. Talk to him. Speak quickly. Okay, um, what do we have here? I'd like to bury a man in the crypt. I'd like to bury a man in the crypt beneath the church. You ignited the eternal fire. I'm grateful. So it's a deal? Inside the crypt lies a crumbling sarcophagus. Crumbling? Rather dig a ditch? I'll take the sarcophagus. Okay, so I wonder if he wouldn't have let us do that if we hadn't have done the 
the light the shrine's quest for him yet. Speak quickly. Okay, I know where the beast comes from. I know where the beast comes from. Was it summoned by the witch? The beast appeared because of human wickedness. To slay it, I'll need to identify the guilty. There may be wisdom in your words. When sheep run astray, the good shepherd must bring them back onto the righteous path. Otherwise, they fall prey to wolves. I'll learn all I can to defeat the beast. I must gather all the villagers. Here's your prize, Witcher. Two hundred arms. I've done all you asked. Where's the Salamandra hideout? Go to the inn, where a group of Salamandra's service has taken over. They hide in the old house. Olaf will have the key. And Witcher? Yes? Nothing. May the eternal fire shine on your soul. Tell the villagers to stay at home now. I don't want anyone getting hurt. You know, I don't know what it is about this guy, but I just don't trust him. Like, something about him rubs me the wrong way. And, like, he seemed like he, like, he started to tell us something and then didn't. I wonder if he's setting us up for failure here. Okay. Uh... It's said to bury the guy under the old church. So, I'm assuming that they mean this. This is the church. So, I don't know. Can we... Oh, that's on the other side. Okay. Um... It doesn't look like we can go underneath from out here, like there's a basement or anything. Let's check inside and see if there's any stairs leading down. After I just, you know, kind of steal from you guys real quick. Take your money and your booze. Stairs down. Okay, sarcophagus. Here we go. You chased me, you and your ghastly hunting party. I do still, though chase isn't the word. Why is that? My task is to see destiny fulfilled. Say I believe you. Will you tell me my destiny? Destiny is a double-edged sword. You are one edge, the other is... Death. I'll follow you, waiting for mistakes. That's not all. There is death, but there's also free will. I'll find Salamandra and fulfill my own destiny. I'll be waiting, Wolf. Andrian Var, Sauv Leo Turvle. That doesn't sound good. You mock destiny. You mock it and trifle with it. Destiny is a double-edged sword. You are one edge, and the other is death? No. It's we who die, because of you. Unable to catch you, death contents itself with us. Death stalks you, following in your footsteps, White Wolf. But others die, because of you. Oh, come on, Leo. Oh, get whooped on, Leo. You're trying to blame me for your death? It's not my fault. Oh, sorry, buddy. I can search him, too. Red meteorite, weapon upgrade. Damage plus 15%. A piece of red meteorite that can be used by a smith to forge a sword. You need three pieces of meteorite to reforge your sword. So I'll have to find two more somewhere. That is cool though. Poor Leo. Like, we didn't mean for you to die, buddy. That's messed up for you to blame us though. Like, it wasn't our fault. Okay, so, um. Now we have to go back towards the inn.
Let's see, I want to fight drowners, so I'm going to cut back across the river and fight drowners along the way. Because I want their stuff. I want their brains. I want your brain! Come on, drowners. Ooh. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah. Whoa! Group style. Anybody else? Alright, brains. Oh, wow. They really took a chunk out of me, though. I better drink another swallow potion. Let me do it, maybe because I'm putting my sword away. There we go. Okay, take my sword back out. Let's regain just a little bit of health here before we keep moving on towards the water. Is this Burbicane? No, it's not. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on? Oh, is that the beast? Where is he? He's over there. Fast style. Alright, okay, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Did he disappear? Oh, okay. We gotta get you now. You're gonna just sit there and send guys out at me? No, 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 no. You just wait. We're gonna find some, you know, magic ritual or something to kill you dead. You just wait. I'm coming for you now. You wanna send guys after me. Now it's personal. Any drowners? No? Nobody? Really? The whole reason I came this way was to fight drowners. Alright, I guess I killed too many my last time I was here. Whoa, here we go. Yeah. Come on up here, buddy. Don't be shy. The one of you, though, huh? Well, that's too bad. I still want my sword out, though. See, look at that. Every time you put your sword away, something comes out trying to kill us. Just the one. I want your skull, though. Like the Misfits song, I need your skull. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Every single time. I wonder if there's a mod or something I could find online to keep him from putting his sword away every two seconds. Like that. So annoying. I know I've been I've been bitching about it a lot, guys. I'm sorry, but it's really like the most annoying thing in the game to me. I see I'm getting a lot of that death dust now. I bet you that's because I have that monster lore ability. See this right here. I wasn't getting that before. It seems like I'm getting it every time now. I bet you like dollars to donuts it's because of the monster lore ability. I heard somebody. There you are. Right. Sure are sending a lot of these things out after me. Let's make our way to the inn. a dog. Come on, doggy. 
which does fire hurt you? Oh, it's hard to tell. Ooh. I don't know, but he's taking a lot of damage though. Okay, not that way. Okay, there's Abigail's hut. Oh, there's the beast again. Can I get him? Let me see if I can just rush him. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Nope, he took off right away. He just brings a bunch of guys against me. Now, it seems like he knows I'm trying to stop him now, and he's like sending guy, sending a bunch of his guys against me so that I can't. I think somebody had mentioned before in the game that it felt like they were con like somebody was controlling the dog. So maybe the person who summoned the dog has control of them and is sending more of them against me now. So I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. Okay, anybody else? No. Nope. But there sure is a lot of these. Coming at me. Alright, uh, I'm getting turned around again. Oh no, I'm going the right way. There's the end right there. Okay. Okay. I have a bad feeling about this. I don't trust the Reverend. He's going to set up an ambush for us. I think there's a fireplace around here. Yeah, right there. Let me see if I can make any potions. I've been gathering a bunch of herbs. Really? I can't make anything? What am I missing for that? Vermilion? I don't even know where to get vermilion. What am I missing for these? It seems like I have everything for this. Aether, Rebus, Rebus, Vitriol, Mixture Type Potion. So why can't I make it? I have Vitriol. I have a lot of Vitriol. I have Rebus. What was the other one I needed? I have a ton of vitriol. Aether. I have Aether too. Where'd it go? I just saw it. Aether, yeah. So I have Aether, I have Rebus, and I have a bunch of vitriol. Why can't I make this? What about these other ones? Potion for Triss. Swallow, uh, swallow I just looked at. Tony of Vitriol and Aether again. It has an X over this potion bottle. I don't think I need empty flasks, do I? I have... Alcohol. Better alchemical base uh, required. Okay, so that's why there's an X over there. Is this beer probably isn't good enough? Okay. Uh. Well, that sucks. Do I have any more talents? No. I do not. Hmm.
might have already read this. At least it tells me. Frightener's Vision. Grants a bronze talent. Oh, I didn't drink this yet. Let me drink that. Oh, can I not do it yet? Um, let's get out of here. Meditate zero hours. Let me drink that real quick. That doesn't seem like it added to my toxicity either, so that's cool. That was a nice little effect that they did, though. So, let's see here. Now I have one talent. Um, what do I want to put it in? Maybe in this one? Seems like all that does... Well, we'll unlock this, I suppose. So, let's do that. And then I'm going to meditate just one hour, and that's where we're going to call it an episode, guys. So I will see you in the next one.